Namaste, Jai Hind, and welcome to this very, very special edition of the Right Stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on the road uh, in the quest to try and get you something really interesting. But this is a conversation that uh, compelled us to stop whatever we are doing and sit down and have a conversation with perhaps some of the most important and uh, illuminary minds uh, that are uh, that in, in, in current day. And this is to try and debunk the entire uh, Aryan invasion theory, especially with the findings of the Rakhigadi site. And I think that is uh, something which is very, very significant. Uh, joining us now is uh, Vachan Chindiri, the former Vice Chancellor of the Deccan Dean University uh, and uh, a very, very renowned archaeologist who was in charge of the entire Rakhigadi site uh, between 2010 and 2017, if I, my memory serves me right. Abhijit Zog, who's written uh, a lot, uh, an author himself, an ad man, but uh, who's uh, dived deep into history and whose books forward, I think, uh, has been written by Vasan Chindeji. And Dr. Anand Ranganathan, yeah. who's uh, been talking about the civilizational ethos of Bharat from a scientist's perspective and about the rising consciousness. But here today, what we will talk about is the third phase and the sudden findings that have now unearthed, which say that the Harappan civilization dates back to nearly 7,000 years ago. And it was such an advanced civilization that most of the knowledge systems or understanding that we have of the current day, they had at that time. How important is this? And does this now debunk the entire Aryan invasion theory that a lot of our knowledge, our uh, you know learnings were something which was brought by invaders who settled here and educated the local illiterate masses. That is the leftist narrative or the distorian narrative as some experts would call it. Your thoughts, Basanji? Yeah, thank you very much uh, for uh, uh, inviting me here. And it's such a pleasure to be you know, with Ananji and Abhijitji on this uh, panel. Uh, first, let me tell you that you know, the recent news is not a new rule. It's not a new uh, news as such. Uh, we have been excavating uh, in this area for last 10, 10 years or more than 10 years. And, uh, you know, earlier also, you know, we got the dates and it is not only really 7,000, it's going back to 8,000 years ago. So we have the, you know, and, you know, uh, the misunderstanding among the people is that the entire, you know, from 8,000 to maybe, you know, uh, 3,500 years, Entire phase was the you know developed phase of the Harappan culture. That is not true, in fact. So one of the objectives of my research at Rakhiri was to under understand the you know transformation you know from the very modest beginning till the urbanization. And the modest beginning of the Harappan culture is going back to you know 6000 BCE, which is almost 8000 years ago. So from 6000 BCE to almost 2600 BCE. This is the early phase of the Harappan culture. And then, you know, we can see, you know, the excursion that, you know, I carried out clearly demonstrated a gradual transformation, you know, from the modest beginning till the urbanization in this particular phase. And then comes the most, you know, advanced or most prosperous phase of the Harappan culture. That is called the Harappan civilization. And that is from 2600 BCE to 1900 BCE. So this is a very, very important phase. And then, of course, because of some certain reasons, there is a decline of the Harappan culture at you know maybe around 1900 BC. And the main cause for that, of course, was the you know climatic conditions. The climate became dry, and we have generated a lot of scientific data in this particular respect on the climatic conditions. And it was a global phenomenon. So most of the major civilizations collapsed at the same time. And, but you know this particular culture after the decline also has continued till 1500 at in some places 1300 in some places BCE. So this is the you know, total length of the you know Harappan culture. So when the archaeological survey of India carried out the excavation at the site of uh, Virana uh, in 2002-2003, that time they, they got very early dates for the beginning of the Harappan culture. And then, of course, you know, initially there were a lot of criticism particularly from the you know, scholars from the West and the Americans because they were not really able to digest these early dates for the Harappan culture. So they started, you know, making, you know, uh, you know a lot of who and cry saying that, you know, maybe you have got, you know, a solitary date from one site. Maybe there is some contamination happening there. See, this type of question was never asked, you know, when they got early dates, you know, at the site of Mehergar because that site was excavated by you know, the French scholar. That time, you know, everybody accepted the dates. 
but you know we did not take that as a, as a you know some kind of you know uh, you know uh, negative for us so we took a took that challenge and then we excavated only half a dozen sites in that region and all the sites farmana you know site you know, which i excavated before rakigadi uh, then uh, uh, the site of vitatal uh, uh, and you know uh, ojiana etc you know these are the sites which are produced very early dates and finally you know we could prove that you know the uh, the beginning of the harappan culture is going back to almost you know 6000 bce and that was confirmed finally at the site of rakigadi so we know that you know this is the beginning is quite early and uh, we never say that never say that you know that you know people the origin of the culture or you know happened here and people have moved to indus you know indus valley because there might be some early sites in that region also which have not been excavated or they have not been able to tap the sites but this is the scenario which is you know which is really happening uh, in this region so that was one objective of my research in this particular region secondly you know as far as the site as, as far as the site of rakigad is concerned number of scholars had worked earlier but nobody had given a proper estimate about the total area of the site of rakigad there were different estimates but nobody tried to understand you know what is you now what is the area that was occupied and then you know when i started in 2010 so 2010 to, to 2012 i spent you know time in calculating the site by using the latest geophysical instruments and you know at the end of the study i was so surprised because the total area that we calculated was 550 hectare which is almost double the size of mohenjo-daro which was supposed to be the largest urban city so now we know that you know this is the largest urban city and we also have got in a cop you know quite good understanding about you know the transformation in the material culture in the structure from the beginning till the you know most prosperous space and the last question that you know we asked which was you know asked by many many scholars before also that who are the harappan people whether they are indigenous people or they came from outside a lot of europeans particularly they thought that you know the mesopotamians came here and they established the harappan culture which was very absurd but you know we had no scientific data to challenge you know this hypothesis so what we decided that you know if you want to understand about the people the best way is to get the dna and that is the clinching evidence you know which will prove or this prove in part or hypothesis so scientifically now we have proved that you know there is you know there is no aryan invasion at all the division you know you know this aryan and dravidian was artificially created by the you know maybe colonial rulers in fact there is no substance in that and uh, thirdly you know that you know the uh, distinct south asian genes started happening you know started muting around 12000 years ago the same genes came in fact you know in the harappan people and the same genes you know we are inheriting in fact and we you know we tested the modern population we did, you know chose different regions in fact from andaman nicobar to kashmir and you know from afghanistan to whole of india and surprisingly we found that you know most of us no matter what religion we follow what language we follow most of us are the descendants of the harappans we we are inheriting there something like 25 to 30 percent harappan genes and the rest are are all mixed in fact so right from the early stage there was a lot of movement happening among the people and because of that you know mixing was also happening so we have maybe 2% iranian genes maybe 4% maybe african genes 3% maybe european genes so like that so what is important here that you know that there is no breakage in the genetic history of south asia at all suppose the aryans had come from outside then two things would have happened one is that you know there could have been a discontinuity or breakage in the genetic history of south asia which has never happened so, and secondly uh now when people come from outside mm-hmm. they would have brought the new cultural elements in south asia which has not happened in fact there's a continuity in the material culture for last 10000 years and i always say that you know, the harappans are the founders of the indian culture because most of the knowledge system most of the tradition that they introduce that is being inherited by you know people even today and there is a large section of the you know, population in south asia what dependent on the traditional knowledge system which was developed by the harappans so this oh, is a very very important you know, research you know that you know we have made 